y'all. Welcome to the Style Chronicles. I wanted to share a new highlight with you guys in Anastasia Beverly Hills shade in um, the color shade in the, in the color starlight. I can't speak. I've recorded this four times and for some reason it goes crazy. My dog was barking. My daughter's crying. Um, so I'm just going to kind of dive in. Anyway, the Anastasia Beverly Hills illuminator in the shade starlight. I tend to be the last person to jump on the bandwagon of any new products, especially highlighters, blushes, um, things like that that involve so much of your skin tone and you, you really have to make sure that it just blends in with how you like your face. And for me, I like very cool toned products on my cheeks and on my highlight and on my lips and very warm toned on my eyes. So that is kind of my palette all the time, no matter what brand or colors I'm working with, they have to be warm for my eyes and cool for everything else. And that is where this is going. Um, the most popular raved about colors or shades in any new debut is often not the right shade for me. It is popular and, you know, most talked about for a good reason. I mean, it's a it's good product. Um, but like I said, for it to work for me, I have to take that shade down three notches and um, make sure that it's cool toned. So for this, when I learned that Anastasia Beverly Hills had a cooler toned white highlight in their range, I was like, oh my goodness. So here's Starlight. And that kind of art deco embossing is so pretty. It reminds me of Emerald City and the Wizard of Oz, if you're a Wizard of Oz fan. It's just really, really pretty. Um, for highlighters to appeal to me, they have to be two things. One, a true white highlight. Not opalescent, not um, no other colors, but white and gold, but not yellow gold. It has to be like a rose gold or a true white gold. Um, nothing, I mean almost platinum, nothing else. So very silvery, very white, not yellow gold at all. And the other thing is it has to be very... Um, sheer in, it, in its effect, not opaque, not creamy because it'll mess with the rest of the color on my face or my foundation. It has to be like a powder product. So this hits it right on the spot. The most talked about color in this range, in this product range is the So Hollywood Highlight, which is a rosy, tan, bronzy kind of color. And it's beautiful. And it is great for um, darker skin tones. For me, I really do like that snow white very pale um, cheek, that very pale kind of look to my face all over, and I warm it up with my eyes, this is the perfect kind of color. And it's true of any range, any uh, makeup brand, I gravitate towards these kind, these kind of shades. So whether it's MAC, um, I've got Becca, Smashbox makes an excellent one, but these true white, not gold, not yellow, um, not even pink, not bronze, just true white, colors are what appeal to me. And I also purchased the Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 brush. And I do have a highlight brush that I've been using. It's a paddle brush. And this is just a little bit more precise. Um, it's, you know, perfect for that area. The paddle brush is really flat and it kind of drags my drags on my face, drags on my makeup. This just goes on really lightly. So you can find a brush like this in any range. Um, the Real Techniques setting powder brush is pretty much the same in its effect. Um, so yes, so together these just work really, really nicely. And like I said, that color is the color that I go for when it comes to highlight. Now to apply it, I just basically go in, tap it onto my brush, and then go in here and apply it to my cheekbones. And I hope you can see how beautiful it picks up. I do my different areas. And I always drag it down. So you're applying it to your highlight, you know, your high cheekbone, the high part of your cheekbone. But I drag it down into my blush so that it all blends together seamlessly. I will always go in and create kind of like a line and then drag it into the blush to blend it together. And it picks up a little bit of that blush and makes more of a rosy shade. That's also why I tend to like my blushes to be on the matte side because they pick up some shimmer from my actual highlight when I blend that onto my face anyway. And then after I have applied my contour, which is Max Taupe, and my blush, which is Max Stubborn, and then this highlight, the Anastasia Starlight Illuminator, I will set my face and kind of blend all that stuff together with some powder. And this is the CoverGirl Setting Powder and the It Cosmetics Ball Wand. And I go in and I put that all over, and then I will go in and just blend everything together so that highlight blends into the blush and the blush blends into the contour and there's no 
harsh lines and everything's just smooth. So that is what I do. And then um, before I go, I do want to tell you guys what I have on my face in general. I have Max brown script on my lid in the crease and then I put the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow in chocolate brown that I use on my eyebrows. I put that underneath on my lid underneath the color Folly from MAC and that gives it some depth which is really really pretty and then smoked out with that kind of red color from brown script. L'Oreal liner intense eyeliner to just kind of wing it out a little bit. My mascara is the CoverGirl mascara that I've been wearing lately. Um, my daughter has it, the one with the red one that I was sent, but it's, it's a great mascara. And then on my, this one, yes, the CoverGirl Plumpify Blast Pro, which has a huge wand that I really do enjoy. It's really pretty. Um, so that's my mascara. And then on my lips, I've got the Butter London Lippy Stick in the color to uh, Taupe Top, which is a really pretty color. It's a great... Your lips, but browner color, so not better, but browner, just a, a hint of brown. My lips are very red, so it pulls very red on me. Um, but that is my overall face look. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and the highlight I think is great. If you are darker than me, my sister is probably two shades darker than me. She's a lot more tan than I am. My mother is a lot more tan than I am, and my best friend next door is a lot more tan than I am. Uh, my sister-in-laws, they're, you know, a lot more tan than I am. I don't tan. I stray from the sun. I like to be, this is me, I like to be kind of very pale. Um, and I do it for a number of reasons. I have a lot of freckles. I don't want them coming out anymore. Um, but mostly, I really do like, I appreciate a Snow White look. And this just, yeah, it's a great highlight if you like that Snow White, if it really appeals to you. Um, so like I was saying, that So Hollywood would be great on my sister. It would be great on my friend, on my mom. You know, it'd be great on a lot of people. Um, but then, you know, if you're like me and you really do prefer that kind of snow white look or you're pale, this is a great option for you. So just thought I would share that with you guys. I'm not saying, you know, don't tan. Although I am saying don't tan. It's not great for you. I really do think um, that your natural skin color is the best skin color. Um, so, yeah, that's me. That's my opinion. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. And I apologize for the noise. The noise is crazy this morning. I had Cracker Jack barking at uh, one of the guys on the golf course that's cutting the grass. My daughter kind of screaming in my lap. And I've recorded this video like three or four times. And it's been crazy. So thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.